Hello there. So I am officially, officially gonna try and get organized. I've had the flu for the last two weeks and I pretty much was unable to do much whatsoever. <laughs> Look at all my, my, my this crap on the side. <laughs> so I have lost all organization that I had in the first place. I've still got energy like at the moment, which is very fun. <laughs> um, but it's fine. I'm going to be trying a bullet journal for 2020 and I'm very excited. I've never officially, officially done one properly before. I did one from an art box once, but I didn't do it properly. So I'm excited. It should be good. If you've never heard of a bullet journal before, basically they are ways that you can customize your very own journals, schedules, to-do lists. They're just amazing. And if you've not heard of one or seen one, your mind will be blown to all of the amazing opportunities that these things can give you. I mean business, I've got all of the markers, I've got the bullet journal, I've also watched classes on Skillshare who just so happened to be sponsoring this video, so thank you for sponsoring today's video Skillshare. And I think it's about time that we got started, so let's go. Okay, here is the but the, the mm. This is the journal that I decided to go with, as you can see, it is just a standard dotted journal, it cost about $20, so it's pretty expensive. I got it from Staples, I'm just really really hoping that it won't ghost through to the other side with the pens that I'm using. So I've got some Tombow markers, I've got some Stettler fine liners, which I actually really don't like very much. I also did buy some Papermate um, flare pens because they looked kind of, I don't know, I just enjoyed the look of the, the nib. So I think they might be quite fun to, that one actually looks like it's been used. That's great. I also got one in black. I also have this zebra marker, which is my favorite ink pen of all time that I normally buy from Amazon. Um, I actually used this for all of my Inktober drawings. And I saw these in Target. These are zebra, zebra midliner markers. So I thought that they looked quite cool because they're highlighters. So we're gonna try those out as well. I'm gonna go to the last page here and just marker up the entire page to see if they kind of bleed. Oh, look at those colors. And then I'll try like a darker color as well that's not darker it's just a different shade that's fine these are the paper make pens this is my zebra zebra ah oh, damn this is one that's been used this is a this is a dud one damn one of my stetler fine liners let's try these highlighters oh they're so pretty i'm gonna go with a very pastel vibe i think in this particular journal all oh, these are pretty okay time for the moment of truth it's not perfect. The highlighter definitely bled through a little bit more than the other things did, but it's okay. It's not the best, but it's also not bled through all the way, so I can live with that. So this is what a bullet journal looks like. Basically, it's just a whole bunch of little dotted squares on the page, and you can format the pages however that you decide. Mm, that made no sense. You can basically format the pages however you want and it's just a really fun idea. It's a very, very good way to be creative and have fun. There we go. So if ever I lose this, someone can see that I am Chloe Rose and they can steal all of my video ideas since I'm going to put those in here. I'm thinking that I want to paint on the cover. Um, I think I'm going to paint on the cover. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I think I'm just going to Stick a little bit of paint on the cover. <coughs> Twas several nights before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, except Chloe Rose clicking her computer mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, filled with two months of free Skillshare and a link down there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds, while visions of thousands of free classes danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just filled our brains with new skills like photography, art, business, and how to make an app. Okay, you know what? This is great, but not as great as Skillshare. Basically, I was just totally clueless how to start a burn it journal in the first place, but you know what? I looked it up on Skillshare and found tons and tons of classes about it. So you can pretty much learn everything you need to know on Skillshare about art, business, design, photography, even stuff like interior design. And I'm currently obsessed with a class called Style Your Space, bringing creativity to interior design. Just 
really fun and tells you how to like style your space which I really like you can also learn about entrepreneurship and much more uh, Skillshare costs less than $10 a month with an annual subscription but as I mentioned before if you check your stockings aka my description box you can join a community of creative and curious people to get two months of free unlimited classes like this and this I've used Skillshare for several years now and it just gets better every year so 2020 is going to be better than ever thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the bullet journaling there we go it's just a little splodge of green and blue paint on the front so the first page is one of those annoying pages that's like stuck to this bit so it doesn't really lie flat so i'm just going to skip that first page out and begin here i'm going to have this first page as an index to tell me where each specific thing that i need in the book is actually located i'm going to add a nice little wonky green line there for decoration because that looks nice maybe a blue one on the other side snazzy a lot of people freehand this which i don't understand oh that looks that looks terrible that's great i don't understand how so many people like freehand this stuff that is beautiful well done chloe I think I'm just gonna add some little doodles. Okay, there we go, with some weird doodles, that's fine. We'll do like a little, that was supposed to be a straight line, but it's not, so let's pretend it's supposed to be wonky. Oh, I feel so fancy right now. I feel so fancy. Okay, so video ideas, and then I'm gonna give it a little uh, line, give it like a little drop shadow. That looks kind of cool. I'm quite happy with that. So, you know, I think what I'm going to do is have two full pages for video ideas because this is going to be like a year's worth of video ideas that I want in here. So I'm definitely going to need to leave a lot more room. Page number two to three. There we go. So we've got our first index there. Even though it's kind of pretty obvious where it's located because it's the first page in the book but we'll move on okay so on this page I think I'm going to do a monthly income purely because I work for myself and every single month can change how much I've earned based on AdSense um, artwork that I sell royalties from my Skillshare classes that I teach um, a bunch of different things sponsorships it all depends on so many different factors so I never fully know exactly how much I'm gonna get each month so I think it'd be cool to track over the year and then each month I can write out exactly where my revenue is coming from a for AdSense from good from Google YouTube then I can do s for sponsorship T for teaching for my Skillshare classes and then I can do um, a for art and then I can do M for miscellaneous. Down here, I'm gonna put a key just to remind myself exactly what these letters actually mean because I think it'd be a good idea if I did that. So I'm just going to kind of just do that and then leave it at that. Monthly pages four to five. So this one is going to be monthly outgoings. So the first one would be car insurance, health insurance. Being an adult is really fun. My phone bill. Disney Plus, that's a very, very important one. I'm gonna fill out the rest later on because you don't need to know all the boring stuff I pay out every month, but I'm gonna leave this all blank so that I can put it all in. Okay, 
This side, I'm going to have my savings, maybe. I don't like this page. I've mucked it up. I'm going to start again. Okay, so I think I figured out exactly how I'm going to have it now. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is have this over a couple of different pages and just basically say how much I've put into my savings account and how much is in my savings account at the end of the month. Um, and I'm just going to do this through till obviously December of next year. But I'm going to fill this in off camera because I feel like that's a little bit private information. So I'm just going to kind of just keep these two pages blank for now. See, the thing about me is I'm very disorganized as a person. So I'm really hoping this is going to help me in some manner stay organized. So one of my favorite things that people do with bullet journals are mood trackers. So basically what a mood tracker is, is every single day you fill out a square with a certain color based on your mood that day. So once all 365 days have passed in the next year, you can kind of see where your mood was at each month and over the year. I just think it's a kind of fun, different idea and I'd like to do it. So we've got amazing, great, good, bad, or really crap. So really crap can be this reddish color. Bad can be orangey. Good average can be yellow. That looks exactly the same. Great, fantastic. Oh, I should probably put numbers on there, shouldn't I? That would help. Crap! I've missed the day at the bottom! So that's the mood tracker. That is now page 10. Oh, great. That's bloody bled through. Ugh. Okay, I'm not using these highlighters because that's just going to ruin everything. I'm going to have a goals page. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it yet. I think I'm going to add my first goal in because I really, really want to try and get my work licensed one day. And if I don't make more stuff like that, I'm not going to have really a big portfolio, I guess. So that's one of my goals this year. Make more skill share classes. But on this page, it's going to be my skill share class page because I definitely want to make more so what I'm gonna do is put in the total students that I have I currently have taught a total of 7951 students so this time next year I'm gonna see how many more students I taught but for now I'm just gonna make a list of classes I want to make so I think I'm definitely gonna do um, an acrylic class I'm gonna do a digital painting and I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do just yet but I'm gonna keep this open and then again I can come back to it when I have more ideas but I'm gonna leave one more blank page and then start on this side just a single month Okay, so this is basically the month of January, so I can see the days of the week to the months. This is something that a lot of people tend to do, which is really, really cool as well. I also want to have a habit tracker. So each day, basically, I will tick off a box every time I do something like this. So if I take my vitamins on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll basically just tick all the boxes like that. Another thing I'm going to do as well throughout the month of January is whenever I have something on a specific day, I'm going to take like a little highlighter and then just highlight that number so that I know that I have something on that day. Cool. Okay. Page 14. Um, I've spelled art ideas wrong. I've spelt it our ides. Ides. Okay, great. Okay, so here's the front of my little bullet journal. As you can see, I just did a quick 
splodge on the front. On the first page, we have nothing. First page, we have an index which tells us exactly what pages each thing is on and I can keep continuing to fill this up. We have a video ideas spread so I can just fill out ideas throughout the year for videos that I would like to put on my channel. On the next page, I have a monthly income page. So I really like this page. I think it's nice and colorful. Next up, I have my monthly outgoings, um, my savings page, which again, I've not filled out because I want to do this obviously in privacy. Um, and I've given myself three pages for that and this bloody bled through, not happy. But I have a mood tracker, which was almost too big to fit on the page, but I managed to do it. I next have a goals for 2020, which doesn't have a lot on it just yet, but I'm gonna sit and think about it and see what goals I have for next year. I have Skillshare classes that I would like to make because I actually really enjoy making Skillshare classes. I have a page for art ideas, but I think I'm probably gonna split this up into something else as well. I'm not too sure yet. And then lastly, I have my January, first week of January page, which is a bit plain. I'm certainly not a fancy bullet journal person. I've got some beautiful wonky lines there. And yeah, that's 15 pages of my bullet journal that I've just filled in. So thank you Skillshare again for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas if you celebrate it or holiday season. This is going to be my last video for 2019 so yeah i really really hope that you'll have a wonderful new year thank you again for watching and supporting my channel throughout the year this year it means so much to me and i'm so excited for what 2020 is going to bring because i've got so many fun ideas when i'm not ill i'm sick of being ill so thank you for watching this video take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video